Hardanger Fjord in western Norway, one of the longest in the world and a giant funnel for plastic swept on the ocean currents from as far away as the UK. 23 tonnes were removed from the shore last year and an army of cleaners is back for more. This is a spot where... This time they have added motivation. Scientists have shown for the first time that cleaning up bottles, bags and other large pieces leads to a 99.5% reduction in plastic fragments along the shore and in the water. I was happily uh, surprised because it means that the cleanup has efficiently reduced the leakage of microplastic from that environment. Clean uh, up plastic uh, on the shores, clean up all the plastic you can see in the environment, it really makes a difference. It means cleanups don't just keep the coast tidy, they rapidly reduce the amount of plastic in the environment and possibly the food chain. Tiny fragments of plastic are now found from the highest mountain to the deepest oceans. They are in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. So finding some way of reducing microplastics in the environment is critical. Huge amounts of plastic are underwater. A remote-controlled submersible reveals all. Plastic fishing pots lost on the bottom of the fjord, still trapping marine life. Hauled to the surface, there are fish, eels, even octopus, all carefully recorded, then released. Goes fishing harvests, and it's of no use to anyone, and it's also an animal welfare problem. And also it's plastic. That as well. More than 9,000 tonnes of plastic have been cleaned from Norway's coast since the death of a whale in Bergen six years ago, its stomach stuffed with bags, a tipping point for a nation. The target is to clean the coastline completely. But at the same time, there will come plastic back. But we will stay it down and, 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 and go and clean uh, year by year. Norway leads United Nations negotiations to agree a legally binding global plastics treaty to reduce production and pollution. But cleaning up what's already out there also matters. And there's now science to back it up. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Norway.